Hello, good day ladies and gentlemen. Brandon Doak from Island Owl Mazda here in Campbell River. We are standing in front of an all new 2024 CX-5 Sport Design. This is a compact utility vehicle powered by the 2.5 liter Skyactiv G engine paired with the all wheel drive capabilities, the iActive all wheel drive, which means rear wheels getting 1% of the torque at all times. And then it sends the power to each individual tire accordingly when you need that grip. These things are awesome vehicles. They're compact, but they give you great utility, great ground clearance, incredible fuel economy, and a whole lot of style and fit and function. So let's get into this. Up front, I'll show you the headlights first. These are LEDs. They've got crisp visibility, and the way they fan out onto the quarter panel there, make sure that you get visibility off of the roadways and even into the ditches, driving late at night or early in the morning, you'll have great visibility in the front of the vehicle you've got the blacked out honeycomb accented grill that looks great it's got that sleek chrome trim on it too that actually blacked out uh they've blacked out the chrome there on the sport design and they've made it match the lower portion of that cladding too all in piano black looks great but also is super functional because it's got proximity and autonomous braking in the Mazda emblem. So if you guys don't apply the brakes for whatever reason, and there's something in front of you uh, uh, obstructing your drive path, it's gonna apply the brakes for you accordingly and minimize those collisions and also save you 10% off of your vehicle's insurance. Pretty cool. I'll come around to the side. The Sport Design has beautiful blacked out alloy rims on them with the locking lug nuts. They're on Toyo A36s, so they're ready for the mud, snow, whatever you guys can throw at them. You're gonna have loads of confidence with the all wheel drive system and the pairing of these mud and snow tires. As you can see, that cladding goes over the wheel wells along the side, just looks sleek and makes it functional for those off-road days. Here we've got blacked out mirror caps to match the piano black finish on the lower portion. You've got LED strips on the outside. Those will turn on when you're switching lanes so people know what you're doing. And uh, if you have anyone in your blind spot, the blind spot monitor on the inside will actually turn on and let you know it's not safe to switch lanes or there's someone back here in that blind spot area. Piano black finish on the pillars. Tinted windows for privacy, which is great. You also have proximity sensing lock, so just press that button and it will lock and unlock for you. The reason it chimed at me is because the car is running right now and I have it in my pocket. Inside, the Sport Design has hand-stitched red accents on the door panels there. Beautiful Bose sound system that doesn't crackle or distort when you turn it to 11. Great storage in there. Automatic windows, locks and mirrors, all that great stuff. Plus the automatic power seats here with the red accenting that's carried over onto the seats. Looks so good, doesn't it? You've got a leather wrapped steering wheel here for great comfort on the mornings that you got uh, a cool start to your day. Turn on the heated steering, turn on the heated seats, and you guys are transported to a lap of luxury. We've got the power lifting hatch here, the lane keep assist that, assist that we can turn on and off. A digital display that shows you all your vehicle's information by pressing this little info button here. You can even see your next service date, your fuel consumption, average fuel uh, consumptions, and then this is your safety screen. So that will actually show you when you have your cruise control on how close you're following the vehicle in front of you. And you can choose anywhere from one to four car lengths, giving you more confidence on the road. There's paddle shifters, You've got automatic rain sensing wipers. You've got automatic headlights that turn to on high beams and off automatically when there's vehicles coming your way. So you're never that guy blinding anybody. You've got a beautiful entertainment screen here that allows you this little bezel and touchpad to access information, entertainment, communication, and navigation, as well as your vehicle settings here. As you can see on the side there, there's access to Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is great for you guys who have your new updated phones, keeps you connected with ease. You've got heated steering, heated seats for the driver, heated seats for the passenger, cooled seats for the driver, and cooled seats for the passenger. So days like today where it's a little bit hotter, turn those bad boys on. And actually what happens is the seats turn on a little vacuum and they suck all the, the heat that's trapped between the person and the seat. 
So it's not actually blowing cold air out, but it's actually sucking it into the car for you. Here we've got a wireless charger, a 12 volt charger there as well. So loads of charging opportunities, a beautiful automatic shifter with the manual shift mode there. You can choose which gear you're in, which is awesome. You also have my drive, which turns you from normal into sport mode or off-road and your cluster changes colors accordingly. Electric e-brake, auto hold for those days that you're stuck on dogwood and the red lights. This will turn on, your vehicle won't roll forward, it won't roll backwards, it stays stationary, even when you have your uh, foot off of the brake pad. Use the bezel for all your entertainment needs. Use the volume dial here for your, well, volume. And the driver has their own volume dial here on the steering wheel, so you can kind of fight between the passenger and driver there. Cup holders, storage with USBs. Those are type C USBs there for your updated phones auto dimming rear view mirror, sunglass holder and interior lighting. We've got a power moonroof here above us that opens up cracks for some airflow, or you can slide it closed if you don't like having that extra lighting to a beautifully blacked out headliner. Looks great. Let's head to the back and show you all the room back here. Loads of space back here. You can see the red accenting has been moved has been followed through to the backside. You even got some honeycomb accent and that looks cool too. Storage in the doors back here for the passengers. Storage in the seats. They've got the ventilation here too, so everybody's staying cool or hot. Drop down armrest with cup holders, heated seats for the back row passengers, and USB charging ports for the passengers as well. Everybody's got chargers. There's child anchors right here that are super easy to access. And whoop, drop in the hat. If you guys ever need extra cargo room, it's a 60 40 split where you guys can drop the seats to a fully flattened position. Boom, you could even sleep in here. That side drops down on its own as well. I'll show you from the back. Beautiful wrap around tail lights. Press the button under the Mazda emblem, and voila, she lifts up. You've got these drop down levers here that will allow you to drop the seats. Sweet, eh? Deep in storage with the Bose Premium subwoofer in there, so all the music is cranked to 11, sounding great, and your spare tire is under there, so you're not sacrificing peace of mind or quality. Press that, drop the, the hatch down. You'll see the Skyactiv-G turbo engine, meaning 2.5 liters of turbocharged glory. Get on down here to Island Isle Mazda and make this compact utility vehicle, the Mazda CX-5, yours. Have a great day, guys. We'll talk to you soon.